what's up my friends 915 man here doing a video today we're going to be showing you how i dose my tank this is a very precise method it's better than any doser out there and uh i manually dose uh i just do a couple squirt squirts here dump it in there a little bit and as you can see totally out of uh solution uh so what i got is some uh, part a part b two part um, this brand is uh, by uh, Aquamax, some big old jugs, and uh, one of them you actually have to add water on it because it comes uh, concentrated. Also got some goodies here. I kind of got in trouble on this one from the wife. I ordered quite a bit of stuff, and uh, as you know, uh, it's already going to be Mother's Day. It's not Father's Day, but uh, I still got some goodies. But I'm going to show you guys how not to get in trouble later on but uh for now i'm going to just show you what i got check it out i got a big box it says fragile glass handle with care and uh this was delivered by ups and uh surprisingly no broken glass because when the guy dropped it off on his truck he was flipping the box around right in front of me and uh, i was kind of concerned but i'm going to go ahead and open this up here in a minute and let you guys check it out your cells. This is also the second tank that I've gotten in the mail from Marine Depot. The first one that I got was a 34 gallon cube. Um, awesome tank, but uh, also came in the mail. I was kind of hesitant about that, but uh, they uh, did a great job packaging this up full of this stuff, and then it was bubble wrapped. And so, what kind of tank did I get? Well, some of you guys might say I'm crazy, but I got a 12 gallon long Aquamax Aquarium. Um, very nice. What you're looking at is a mat. Okay, rimless tanks, they have to have a mat. You could do the standard foam mat um, that they have for at Home Depot or Lowe's. But this one came with a nice um, little neoprene mat. And uh, as you can see... This is going to be a sweet tank because it's rimless. I know it's a it's a little bit long, um, but it's going to be a cool tank. I'm going to do some cool aquascape with it, and uh, I'm going to take my time. I was thinking about just doing hang on back, but you know what? I want a clean look, so I'm going to go ahead and drill this. Where am I going to put it? I don't know yet, but I also got some Pucani rock. I bought the 25-pound rock of Pucani. And uh, pretty happy with the way it came out because they got some nice pieces in here. And I've never seen anybody wrap uh, Pucani rock or dry rock with the um, insulation right there. So it came out pretty cool. So shout out to the person that packed my box. Thank you for picking me some pretty cool pieces. And uh, because of your the work that they did with packing it, my uh, pieces didn't get cracked or anything like that. Now I am going to go ahead and modify some of these rocks. I'm going to get a hacksaw and I'm going to, you know, start cutting through some of this rock uh, to make some cool little features. I'm going to use some of this in the uh, 12 gallon long and also with the uh, 180. I'm not, I want to change up my aquascape in the 180 a little bit. Now in the other video that I did, I was telling you about my bubble algae, how I, I should have got a t-shirt and uh, I got a t-shirt right here pretty cool t-shirt and that's the one that I was wearing at the beginning of the video I don't know about you but I love me some sriracha sauce I thought this was pretty cool and uh, so thanks for that order now the tank itself is doing okay I mean it's had better days um, the great thing about it it takes kind of a long time for things to happen uh, for bad things to happen because it's a 180 um, so it does take a little while I haven't done a water change in a while and uh, I'm debating about what kind of salt to buy. I know a lot of people use the Red Sea Coral Pro salt. Um, I usually go on the cheap side with the reef crystals. Not saying that it's you know, cheap salt, um, but it's the lesser on the price salt. Um, I have thought about using other salts like Fritz, um, Coral Pro, or whatever it's called, Fritz Pro. Um, but I, you know what? I'm even thinking about use, using instant ocean regular salt. And then I can just dose my alkalinity, calcium, magnesium, wherever I want to go. 
So that's that. Now another thing that I wanted to talk about was my RAS. If you look on the RAS's left side, there's a little bump there. It's had this bump for about three weeks now. And I was a little worried that it was ick or something, but I don't know what it is. Um, and uh, of course the green hair algae, but the RAS bump seems to be going down. So there's a little bit of closer look. It's doing healthy, eats like a pig and swims around like a beast. So little bump, it's not holding them back. I don't know what it is. All my other fish look okay, like if they don't have any symptoms. So I immediately thought it was ick, but none of my fish have white spots. It's just my wrasse. I don't know if he got stung by a bristle worm or something like that, fire worm on his mouth. I don't know. I don't know what happened to him. I just saw him one day like that. And uh, you know what? He's doing good. Now, last Sunday, I got a cool little present. I got a laser. And I also got a purple dotty back from my buddy, Tim. Shout out to Tim. And uh, is the fish is doing okay. It's doing all right. It's eating. It's socializing. It's out there. It's swimming. Um, this coral right here, somebody asked me, why don't you like these, you know, soft corals so much? And uh, that's why. You know, they just branch. They start growing. They, it kind of looks cool, but... It's not really the kind of look that I'm looking for. So I'm probably going to get rid of this coral. I don't know if I'll just sell it locally or what. But uh, for sure, probably going to do something with it because it's not going to stay in this 180. There you can see the purple dotty back is there doing okay and swimming around. Now I'm doing a little close-up of my green hair algae. It's not so green anymore. You can see it's kind of turning into a brown uh, it's, it's, I'm guessing the GFO is winning. Uh, I am going to just manually remove this stuff and pull it out and scrub it. But one thing that I wanted to tell you about, I have these, uh, QP 16s and I got them from, uh, reefbreeders.com. But on the top where the green hair algae, it, these pumps usually seem to, uh, get clogged up there a lot. Um, I don't know what it is, if it's the design, but, uh, the, for me, that algae always goes right there on that pump and um, I usually have to clean it out real good. Another thing that I'm doing is I am uh, curing my dry rock. What does that mean? I'm soaking them in water. I have soaked them in uh, vinegar before but this time I'm just soaking them in water. I took a nozzle with the water hose and I sprayed the crap out of this rock. I started scrubbing it and then I'm just letting this these rocks sit in some water so that way the uh, organics in the rock can go ahead and break down because uh, you don't want to just put dry rock in your tank like that. You do want to kind of clean it up a little bit. Most people stick this uh, rock in a brute can with uh, some flow and a heater. I'm just going to do it like this and change, change the water out daily. Um, I didn't change it out the other day. And when I actually dumped the water, the water stunk really, really bad. But I just use the water and um, use it to water some bushes. So I'm just going to take my time with this. Just change the water out every two days. Put some new water. And go from there. On this tank right here. The 20 gallon little fried tank. Um, I am running the T5. And the LED. But check it out. I'm going to go ahead and fix this. This was kind of like a temporary quick fix. And um, I think that those wires somehow might be affecting the t5 the other one because there's two that are supposed to be turning on um, i do like the height of the uh, t5 gives me lots of room so i'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this and uh, make it look a lot nicer more presentable and uh, more sturdy this i really wouldn't recommend anybody doing this surprise it hasn't fallen down um, one time the light did shift and uh, it was kind of, you know, sketchy at best. But I do like the height. I'm going to make this a little bit more uh, secure uh, and just more better. So stay tuned for that in the next video. It was good hanging out with you guys. Thanks a lot. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, and turn on the bells and whistles notifications. You guys have a good one. Peace.